Welcome to our first review on YouTube. My name is Paul. And I'm Simona. This is our travel with passion and style channel. A year ago we wanted to go to Mauritius. We had already planned everything. But three months before departure, Turkish Airlines cancelled our flight without giving us an alternative. For this reason, we opted for another destination, Cape Verde. If you are also interested in this adventure, let us know in the comments below. A similar situation was repeated this year, but for different reasons. From the itinerant trip to Madagascar, we moved on to a relaxing and regenerating holiday in Mauritius a destination already present in our travel list. In just two days we were able to book the flight and hotel. For us this is a great success considering how much time we invest on average to organize our holidays. Not being the best season to visit the island in Mauritius it is winter, we opted for the northernmost area, less affected by the rains. We chose the hotel Anxana Balaclava which, by the way, is changing its name to Lujadi Beach Resort and Wellness. We managed to book our room and, just to be sure, we contacted the hotel to ask about the transfer. Later we will explain how it went. The answer to our question about the transfer came after 12 hours, but unfortunately they did not answer all our questions. On the second attempt, however, it went better. They replied by listing the various activities available, including dinner at the beach. After viewing the menu, we asked if it was possible to make changes. Unfortunately, we did not get a response. After two days, however, they sent us an invoice to be paid by wire transfer. And during the reservation, we used our credit card to pay, so for us it was obvious that the payment has been made by credit card and not wire transfer. In addition to this, it was public holiday, so banks were closed. I asked for explanation, but even in this case I did not receive any reply from them. By this time our holiday had begun. We opted for the beachfront pool suite room with private and knitted pool. The total size of the room is 180 square meters. The hotel does not offer any benefits for the suites compared to other hotels where for example the transfer to and from the airport is included. No massage or treatment at the spa or voucher for a dinner. The standard rooms have the same privileges as the suites. We don't expect any special privileges. In many hotels where we stay, the most prestigious room have perks, not here. After landing on time in Mauritius and the subsequent baggage claim, side note it was an incredible chaos there, we got to take our transport to the hotel. As with other hotels we expect a sign with the name of the hotels and of course ours, but we are surprised. In a negative way, our name is written together with others and there is no indication of the hotel, only the name of the company that provides the transportation. And the hotel never told us anything about it. The agent asked us to confirm the name of the hotel, Le Jardin Beach Resort and Wellness. Our perplexity is definitely at a very high level. We then discover that the hotel is changing its name, but on the website there is nothing written and once again the hotel has not provided indication in this regard. Not the best way to start a holiday. Talking about the transportation, the vehicle is definitely not up to par with a 5 star hotel, but this will also apply to other services that we will talk about shortly. It's a rather small Suzuki and being quite tall, actually over 180 centimeters, I don't have much legroom. Also, considering that the journey takes almost an hour, I was cramped in that car. We arrived at the hotel well before check-in time. However, the wait is short and accompanied by some explanation and a welcome drink. At this point, we begin to notice the first problems. The Wi-Fi connection is very slow and the coverage is decidedly poor. Indeed, in common areas, it is often absent or extremely weak. Even in the room, coverage is not guaranteed everywhere. Our biggest disappointment, however, concerns the restaurants. On the website, they clearly write that they have four restaurants, including an Asian one and one focused on barbecue. We choose this hotel especially for the food. We are following a keto diet and these two restaurants will have been for us. We are told that they are closed due to Covid, but we immediately understand that they are closed for other reasons. First of all, the lack of customers, it is low season, and for the hotel renovation. 
Our impression will then be confirmed by the general manager a few days later. What we find frustrating is the fact that they did not write on the website. This for us was an extremely determining factor for the choice. However, we are assured that there will be no problems for our diet. We chose the room with the private and heated pool because in Mauritius it is winter. As they write on the website, the water is heated to 30 degrees. Unfortunately, the water is very cold, but we informed that they have recently turned on the heating and it will take a few hours to eat it. We then decide to go to the beach, where we find comfortable deck chairs and a pleasant tranquility, ruined only by the persistent noise of the air conditioners and pumps to eat the pool. The beach can be defined as private, as both sides are surrounded by rocks. The hotel does not offer any catering service on the beach. You must bring water to drink from your room or walk to the bar which is not very close. Another sure point is the lack of a shower, very useful after a swim in the ocean. There are some in the pool, but not next to the beach. Just before dinner, we decide to go to the gym. Fitness is a very important part for us and even on vacation we want to keep ourselves in training. There are three treadmills, only one works, and the others are under maintenance. There is also an elliptical trainer and two bikes. Unfortunately, these devices are also out of order. Wanting both to train, we must split our training program. Fortunately, the other strength machines are working, although not all in perfect condition. The gym is quite dark and cramped. We notify the reception about the problem and they tell us that they are aware of it, but the other spare parts don't arrive. We believe that it's difficult to get spare parts, but it's very difficult for us to imagine that out of six appliances, five broke at the same time. After two days where the pool is unusable, as it is cold, and after talking to the general manager, the hotel informed us that we will change room, and to apologize they offer us a 30 minutes couple massage. A nice gesture. They also inform us that they are updating the Wi-Fi network, but the upgrade is not yet finished. The new room is slightly brighter, but still very dark. The Wi-Fi problem remains. The access points are very old. In the room, there is no much technology. There is no Bluetooth speaker, but only a radio with CD player and iPod dock. There is also no choice of pillow for the cervical or hypoallergenic one. The choice is between a normal one and a slightly harder one. There is an espresso machine for coffee and a kettle for water, but coffee cream is missing. The mini bar menu mentioned nuts that are not present in the room. During the change of the room, they forgot to bring us the bathrobes, so we had to request them at the reception. The upside is that finally the pool is hot. We thought that at least this problem was solved, but we were wrong. It's Saturday evening and uh, find out that there is a buffet for dinner. Nothing negative, but it would be up nice to inform us of this event. The food is quite varied and uh, we have no problem to find something in line with our ketogenic diet. The other day is the choice is from the menu proposed by the chef. It changes daily, but basically the foods are always the same. Surely dinner is superior to lunch, where the alternatives are extremely limited and inconsistent. But everything is in line with the hotel that proclaimed itself of 5 stars, but that certainly is not at that level. A Sunday morning breakfast is however a big disappointment. Probably due to lack of staff, the service is very slow and the buffet lacks 
smoked salmon. Too bad, because it is one of the few foods we can eat. We take advantage to ask if it is possible to have the soy milk and avocado that are present in the breakfast menu in the room. Initially, we are told that they do not have soy milk and that the avocado is only for room service. We are both puzzled but accept the answer. After a few minutes, however, a small portion of avocado arrives. However, there are no plant-based alternatives to cow's milk. Still talking about breakfast, all cold dishes are covered with a transparent film to protect them from midges. This system is definitely uncomfortable and not particularly hygienic. It would be much better to use glass or plastic covers. To conclude this breakfast, we find that there is no sparkling water, there are no waiters available and therefore we must fall back to still water. In general, the breakfast is a disappointment. We often find ourselves asking to bring food that is finished or simply not present from one day to the next. Smoked salmon, feta, pecans. Around 1.30 in the afternoon we decide to test one of the hotel's free activities, kayaking. Unfortunately the person in charge for this service is having lunch and we are told by a fisherman that he would return after half an hour. In the late afternoon we decide to take a dip in the pool, but we realize that it's it's cold again and we notify the reception. In the following days it's a succession of cold water and slightly warmer water, but definitely not 30 degrees as confirmed by the reception. Eventually we even stop calling them to ask to warm up the water more. We also find it absurd that the whirlpool integrated into the pool is not heated. To be fair, the website does not say that the whirlpool is heated, only the pool. To make things worse, the whirlpool overflows cold water into the already cold pool. They propose us a private dinner on the beach, enthusiastically we accept and we are asked to show up at 7.30 directly on the beach. After waiting in vain for someone, we return to the main restaurant and uh, we ask for information. The waiter apologizes and accompanies back to the beach to start the dinner. The beach is quite far from the restaurant. We waited over 30 minutes before receiving the water. Frankly, we would have expected a more attentive service, but this was not the case. We tried to organize a paid trip through the hotel tour service. The departure is at 8 o'clock, so we arrive at breakfast right at the opening 7 o'clock. It is obvious that they are not ready. Many dishes are missing, even the water is not there. From our point of view, if breakfast starts, uh, 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock everything must be ready. We are now in the second half of our stay and we have yet another discussion with the manager of the gastronomic part to whom we once again expose all our problems and disappointments. He assures us that he will do what he can to solve the problems and tell us that he will at least offer us water at dinner. We really appreciate the gesture but unfortunately at the arrival of the check the water is built. We pay and say nothing. At the Celia restaurant as well as in the others a smart casual dress code is required. This is unfortunately not respected. Customers with shorts, swimsuits for children and even flip-flops. We spend the day exploring the nature of Mauritius and we return to the hotel at 6 in the evening. Near our room a cleaner greets us and informs us about a technical problem with our door. It does not open. It's still up to us to go to the reception and explain the problem. The guy at the reception helped us, but they should have solved the problem well before our return to the room. Considering we left the hotel early in the morning and we arrived very tired in the afternoon. After nine days of stay, a more powerful access point is installed in our room. The situation improves slightly, but it is definitely not acceptable in 2022, considering the class of the hotel. Another positive experience is the private spa bath directly in our room. The decoration as well as the setup is definitely beautiful. Well done for the organization. These are the moments when we understand that the potential exists some collaborators are definitely up to the job and have the pleasure of serving customers. 
Something, however, at the level of management doesn't work. There are too many continuous shortcomings that make you lose patience and this, especially on vacation, should not happen. We conclude our stay by asking to take a tour in the southernmost part of the island before being transported to the airport. They tell us that everything will be organized, but the day before checkout, we are contacted by another person at the reception who asks us if we want to have transportation to the airport. She's basically not informed about our plan, so we repeat everything again. Our vacation comes to an end. It was a very strange experience. On one hand, we had the pleasure to be pampered by three extremely motivated and competent people, so our thank you goes to Zahira, Ajay and Anand. However, on the other hand, too many things did not work in this structure. No consistency between the services. In some tables there is not salt and pepper, while in others there is. And this is the same restaurant. A simple martini arrives without olives, because they were finished, they are then brought at the end of the drink. One day you order the ribs, accompanied by fried tofu, and you are served seven ribs that even in two people you would struggle to finish. The next day you order the same dish, and you get some boneless pork, on the third you get three small ribs without tofu. At lunch it happens to receive the dish after more than 40 minutes, with side dish missing. This depends on the amount of people present at the restaurant, the orders arrive earlier or a lot later. At dinner it is essential to choose the right table. The reason is that in the restaurant there are three different types of music. One live, one from the stereo of the restaurant, and one from the nearby bar. Still about the dinner, it's possible that within literally 5 minutes, three different waiters ask if you want water or coffee. Communication is totally missing. This is also evidenced by the fact that after telling them not to bring us bread, a waitress brings it to us anyway. For a trip, we want to change 300 euros to the local currency, but the reception doesn't have the required amount. The drink list is decent, but also unreal. They say they have rosé champagne by the glass, but that's not true. They just have the bottle, which they obviously don't want to open when they have few customers. The maintenance of the hotel is very poor. The cleanliness of the common areas is only sufficient. One morning we also found a piece of glass under our table. On the second day we are informed that the room is clean when we go to dinner, but this is not true or at least not always. It happened that they clean in the morning as well in the afternoon, so again no consistency at all. The bin in the room is not emptied regularly. The organization of activities is truly unacceptable. Lack of information and consistency between customer's request and the proposal. We clearly specified what we didn't want, and they gave us exactly what we did not ask. We live with the beautiful memory of our private barbecue dinner on our terrace, with our own chef and waiter, organized and offered free of charge by some members of the staff. Once again, thanks. There are people who make the difference. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us.